So today we are upgrading the fuel pump wiring in the Pulsar GTIR. Um, these things need more power. Most older 90s GDM cars need an upgrade of wiring to their fuel. They can't always get the direct power that there is needed for the fuel pump. So what we do is we basically we just upgrade to a higher amperage cable direct from the battery which will give us uh, a better direct power to the battery, which will increase the current as the load on the fuel pump gets higher, um, just allow, allowing for more stable tuning of the vehicle. Um, this thing has been a work in progress for way too many years now. A lot of problems, but you know, life also gets in the way. But we're near the final stages. I'm nearly ready for this thing to get tuned. A couple of things to get fabricated and put the car back together to make it all schmicko um, but yeah today I just thought I would show you how to upgrade the fuel pump wiring um, obviously it helps if you've already got a aftermarket fuel pump in it this has already got a 255 uh, so basically what you're going to need is we're going to need an inline fuse for it for the direct power feed because we obviously don't want to overload it and if there is a short somewhere sorry and if there is a short somewhere we would like to make sure the fuse pops before anything else. Obviously, we got our fuses. We got a 30 amp relay, and we have what do we got? I'm not even sure. Uh, six millimeter of red cable um, by three meters. We got two of those um, just in case that wasn't enough. All right, some good progress has been made. I've got the pump wired in with the cables and they all just they all run I know it's a bit hard to see but they all run in behind that I don't have the terminals for it yet for the relay so just for the moment we're um just gonna wait till tomorrow and get that all boxed up alright so the fuel pump wiring is finally done uh, I sat up a little bit late last night to finish it off, but today we just went to Rip Cody to get the terminals for the fuse, uh, not the fuse, sorry, the uh, relay because I forgot to buy those. But um, it's all done, it's all in. It's, it's a little bit messy at the moment because we're still just, uh, just got to tidy it all up. All right, so as you can see, we've got a direct live feed from the battery to our relay over here tucked behind that trim which we, this will all get tidied up so that goes direct into 87 the wire straight from the plug as you can see I've spliced the black and the red wire there and put a 30 30 amp cable and then you can see the other side just there so the one on so the actual wire on the plug end which, sorry, you know, it's a bit hard to get this. That goes into number 30, and then the other side of that wire, this one coming out near the grommet, that goes into, I think it was 86. I'll double check, I'll put it in the comments. And then we've also got, which might be a bit harder to see, but over here, this wire, there's an earth down near that seat belt. I've just put it onto that and that goes into 80, like 86 or so I've just plumbed it there which goes up to that relay just over there just so you guys can see mine the interior just being pulled apart and getting the instrument cluster fixed fuel pumps primed Right up, as you can see, for some reason, this reads like that, so I just tap, tap the throttle, comes back, and it comes down to idle at a good 13 AFR. 
Anyways, I'll, um, I'll get the rest of the car back together and I'll show you what it looks like after that once it's all neat and tidy and then, I don't know, go for a drive, I guess. Alright, now that it's all mac together, there is a grommet under here for that tank vent line. So I've just tucked them under there with that grommet so it doesn't rub. And then we've just kneaded up all the cables and she's looking pretty good. Alright, now she's up and running. I forgot to mention um, that you keep the fuel pump relay in the standard one. And we come over. Focus. Apologies. See, we're getting a very good AFR. It's very steady as well. So let's take it out for a spin. Been for a drive now with the Pulsar. She um, runs a lot nicer. It's uh, when it, before before doing this, uh, the this thing's already been tuned, but needs to go in for for a full tune, which I've been waiting to do this um, fuel pump wiring upgrade. Before it was definitely running a little bit richer on throttle. It was probably around the 14 kind of AFR range but now on throttle it definitely is at a lot better mixture it's sitting around you know 12 to 13 on throttle like most of the way through the through the revs uh, I don't I haven't even given it the beans it's just just like light light cruising and a little boost um, does run a little bit rich on cruising but that's all right that'll all get sorted out when it goes up back on the dyno um, at a later date but very happy with it, very cheap, um, reliable mod to do for these cars um, and also it's a lot nicer for the tuner, tuner and the tunability of the fuel map for them. So hopefully this has helped fuel you.